Today we are here visiting uh, Cape May Lighthouse in Cape May Point, New Jersey. It is in a state park and it was constructed in 1823 and it is fully functioning to this day. It's actually the third lighthouse um, on this location. The first two lighthouses are actually underwater. So this was the third lighthouse that they built. It stands 157 feet tall, and it had a first order Fresnel lens originally in it. And also located on the premise are nature trails. And you can take different trails, uh, short trails, long trails through the marshlands. Um, it all has really nice paths and bridges across the marshes. And if you take the longest trail, it leads you out to a beach area where there is a fort out there. Uh, you cannot go in anymore, but you can view it from the outside. They also have a really nice picnic area and they have a little museum that you'll see in the wooden structure. And that contains some animals and some information about the area. So right now we're going to start our nature trail. We're going to take the longest trail, which is the blue trail. And one thing to know about this area is this is a major stopping point for birds in their migration. So it is a, a very popular place to come for bird watchers. It's about nine o'clock in the morning here on the East Coast and uh, very cool day here in uh, New Jersey. We we're supposed to get rain a little bit, so that's why we came out early to walk this trail. And as my wife said earlier, when we come out to the old bunker where they used in World War II, we'll be on the beach and we'll be able to see the ocean. So here's your different trails. You have the red, the yellow, and the blue. We like the blue one because it's the longest. It gives you the, uh, the fun to view everything. So here we go. You can see the flowers are, the trees are starting to bloom. Get ready for summer. We've walked through here in the summer and it's very hot sometimes. When you come here in the summer, just have some water with you because it gets hot back here when you get into the opened area. But there is a good amount of cool um, shady areas, so it is nice so you don't, aren't, the sun isn't fully on you the whole time that you're on the trail. So again, the arrows are really good to follow. Again, we're following the blue trail. And there's some nice little signs here telling you about some of the, uh, you know, the nature, the bushes, you know, poison ivy, stuff like that, what to be, watch out for. You see, we come out, you know, we're going to come out upon the uh, little lake over here. You'll probably see some herons out in the distance. There are some geese out here. See some geese out here sometimes. And if you get tired, you can always stop and take a break here. Again, this is a really nice nature walk. And again, this is a uh, state park, so they really keep up on this. And it's very nice back here. And they're planting trees and just to keep it going. This is a great walk for kids. When you don't want to go to the beach for the day, just want to give yourself a break. Some of you come off the planks now, and now you're walking through the wooded area. I think a few months ago we were up at uh, Sky Top, Pennsylvania. And I'll link that video down below at our trip. And we were walking through ice and snow 
up in the mountain area hiking up there, which is a fun time. And uh, now we're at spring and things are starting to come alive. All the snow's gone. We just love going to the beach. So we're coming across the little bridge you're going to have to go over. Out here in the summer, it's very hot right here in this area. We were out here last summer and it was uh, pretty hot when we did this. You see the lighthouse off to the distance up there. Right beyond that tree, you really can't see it. Across this little bridge here. Again, you'll go back into the woods, come out, and then we're eventually going to be out of the ocean in the, the big bunker. Heron, we think, way off in the distance there, right in the tree area there. So right here you can stop and a little bridge area. Come out over this. And there's some houses out there and different types of birds that flock this way. It's a great for morning walks as you see you know, some people walking ahead of us now. Coming up on another marker. So if you get tired, you can always just take the yellow path and go back. But again, we like the blue path because it's the longest. And lead you out to the ocean. some geese out there. Swan, yeah. Swan. Out from the distance there you can't really can't get it, but there's some swan in the water. Got a swan here in the water. It's low tide right now. The tide, tide is going out, as you see. He's slowly waiting through the water. So we're now turning this way. We're going to be heading out towards the, um, the ocean now.
Hello. The lighthouse is off at the distance and you can see the bunker right there on the left. This is the bird sanctuary. There's the, you get a, you get a map here with the different trails. This will lead you up to the beach up here to the left. We're going to walk down this path and there's another entrance to the beach and we'll get to the bunker. Oh, there goes a, what is that dark? Another swan landing. We don't see the swans in the summer or the fall. This must be a migration time for them this time of year. We just spotted a heron right there. And this geese does not like the swan. He keeps saying, hey, oh, oh, oh here we go. Take off. It's like an airport. Now we're going up and yep, we're close to the bunker. <laughs> I think we gotta go one more. There's the bunker. You can walk along the beach here, the trail, see it? Should be coming up on another, yeah, it's coming up on our left. And then we'll be able to get right up against the bunker. And then it'll lead us to the, the lookout near the lighthouse and then we'll be back to the parking lot. Wow, there's a whole bunch of swans over there in there. Hear them? Yeah, isn't that weird? Oh, there's one right here. Where? Right in through the bushes. I can't get them. Can yeah, I can't get them.
Oh. We should be right at the bunker. There it is. So they were thinking about making this a museum, but they never did. You're not allowed on it, but but this was a lookout for World War II. And then you have the bird sanctuary over here where the birds migrate. We have the ocean here and the bunkers right in front. And we have the lighthouse. We were here last summer and the beach was not like this. This is probably all erosion from the winter storms. Because last summer there were a lot of people out here and this was more flat than you see today. A lot of the winter storms come in we get what you call nor'easterns, and we get a lot of beach, or beach erosion. So right up ahead here is the little pavilion area. It'd be the end of the trail. And uh, leads you right back to the parking lot. You can see through all the storms how the sand is built up on this uh, walkway. And this explains here the sediment movement up around Cape May here. A lot of information as you walk through these trails. You walked up the plank. We have our ocean here. Again, lead you right back to the parking lot. And there's uh, Cape May Lighthouse. And the nature center down below, this little building off to the left there. And you have restrooms. So, if this is your first time watching, welcome. And for future notifications, just hit that bell and please subscribe to our page. It helps us know that you're watching. Also leave a comment below because it helps us decide on which videos are good. Again, we thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.